All right, looking at this Trail Boss 325 once again. Um, about to pop the transmission out of it. Uh, we've already taken the clutch cover off this side over here and everything. Um, and the, the cover and the backing plate, that was in a previous video. So, uh, from what I believe, we've got this, hopefully you can see it, we got this bolt going through here. It's got another on the other side. And this bolt on here that uh, just, just screws straight in. Um, I've already popped off this nut and I'll just put it back in. So it's a 14 millimeter. Um, there's a nut there. Pull this bolt out and then the bottom one should work out with a wrench. Um, now I didn't see one on the other side. It, there might have been, but I didn't see it. Uh, there's nothing there. Alright, so there looks to be now that should be it. From what I can see, they don't see anything else holding it. I don't know. I'll use this pry bar to see if it will budge or if it's still hooked in somewhere. It, it moved, so. All right, so it doesn't want to come straight up. So I'm going to take this out also, this plate here, so I have more room to move it around. Um, this is also 14 millimeter. So we're going to zip, zip this off here. It's like a the bracket that holds the back of the transmission. So we got that side. See if that gives me a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and take the other one just off for uh, just, to, just to do it. The one on the other side. Oh, this one might be a little bit more difficult to get to. Go from this angle. All right, got there. Those two things are off. Now, the transmission should just come right on out. All right, it looks like this plate over here might be holding it in. Um, I don't see and I'm going to pop this one off just to be sure. Uh, this is a 10 impact. Should take it out, hopefully. Nope, doesn't pop it loose. Let me, uh... Battery and that impact driver might be going, going dead. I bought two batteries for it, and one battery won't hold a charge. And... Alright, here we go. Alright, the 10 millimeter, dropping this little plate off this on this side of the mission. Make sure. Anyway, there's nothing else holding it I don't, that I see, so it should just come right on out. But it's acting. It's probably just wedged in there really good. Unless something at the bottom's got it. I might end up having to flip this thing over. Alright. Watch me spill wool everywhere, but whatever. We'll see what happens. 
there we go. There's the culprit. There's another bolt here at the bottom, which that would have been tough to get to if I hadn't, if it's full, it wasn't taken all apart. Um, let's see, it's a 14. Let's see if I can get something on the other side. We'll try it with these. It probably won't be enough. But let me get another. Another 14. Surprised I found that so quick. This place is a mess. Getting me out here in the garage is tough. Alright. So busy in soccer. My kids' soccer is about to start up. I got my three kids are on three different soccer teams, and my goal is to coach all three teams. And once that happens, <laughs> not much else will be happening. Alright, so that was just a 14 millimeter bolt went through. We'll lay this back down. Like I said, that would have been tough. If I had wheels and everything on here, I guess we'd be crawling up underneath the floor. A little bit of oil spilt out over there. I'll get that up a little bit. And the transmission comes right on out. So there we go. I'm going to clean this thing up. Um, check it out. It is missing the switch that goes here, and I don't know why. Um, I mean, it turns. It turns over like it's supposed to. Um, I'm gonna mess with that. So I'm gonna inspect it, see what I, I think. Um, I mean, that's probably 200 bucks, 250 on eBay. Um, not knowing what's wrong with it, I'll probably list it for about 149 or so, um, just to get it sold. But anyway, thanks for watching. Next thing is to pull this motor out. All right, check back later.